Hello, I'm Anissa Abbas Higgins and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to introduce you today to Winter in Sokcho by Elisa Shuaduzapan, which was translated which I translated and which was published by Daunt Books Publishing last year in the UK. It was also recently it was also published um, this year by Open Letter Books in the United States. And uh, we've recently found out, we're absolutely delighted and um, somewhat stunned to have that the book has been awarded the Transl Translated Literature Prize in, from the National Book Awards in the United States. Um, it's, it's a complete surprise, but it, in a way it isn't a surprise because this is a book which, although it's small, it is packed with so many wonderful features. Um, Elisa writes in a very spare, pared down style. And so in very few words, she manages to convey um, violence, sensuousness, images, uh, questions of identity, alienation, and, and so, many, um, so many themes that are very powerfully conveyed. It's set in the border town of Sokcho in South Korea, which is close to the, North, the border with North Korea. Um, the narrator is a young woman who works in a rundown guest house. It's the middle of winter, it's freezing cold, there's very little to do there, there are very few guests. Um, she lives with, with her mother, um, well she lives in the guest house but she also spends a great deal of time with her mother with whom she has a very ambivalent relationship. Um, into the guest house arrives a, a visitor, a Frenchman who is a graphic novelist doing some research for a novel for his next work. A relationship develops between these two um, in which it's, it's a, it's, there are underlying tensions, there's, a, there's a, a frisson of eroticism. He wants to use her as a means of doing, of seeing the town. He wants to see the town through her eyes. Um, she is both flattered and frustrated by this. Um, they visit the area which is close to the border with North Korea together. They go to various local eateries. Um, but it, under, it, behind all of this is the, 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 the desperate, bone-chilling cold and the feeling of waiting, the tension, the unresolved issues um, that lie beneath the text and beneath the narration in this novel. Um, I could talk endlessly about it, but I think I've said enough because I am hoping that you will um, will be able to have a, a very fruitful discussion and I'll be happy to talk to you more about this book. Okay, thank you.